What a weekend. And here we are on another Monday on Blinded by the Item with this very special guest. Can you see the special guest? Am I in the wrong thing? You're not in the right thing. That's oh, for sure. Okay. Dear listeners and viewers, technical difficulties. While I get into the correct thing. Oh, I'm on Friday. I want that special guest to introduce himself. Hello, everybody. It's your good pal, Stormer. I know you're not really used to me uh, being on the Blinded by the Item program, but with uh, program. Don having Sounds her, so official. You're welcome. Uh, with Don having her little adventure up north, I'm going to be filling in for her for some of these blind items, if that's okay with y'all. Absolutely. And Stormer, for those of you who don't know, there we go. Can you see my face now? Yeah. All right. Uh, for those who don't know, if you listen to the radio show, Stormer is our producer, so he's always in the background when uh, we record blind. It's true, I'm always lurking. So he's very good at this behavior. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to put any pressure on you, Stormer, but... Um, honestly, I'm putting a little pressure on myself because the last time I played, I got like three or four. That's right good. Least, so I'm trying to match that today, if possible. Okay, so... Pressure on yourself. Pressure on myself. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Mike, do we have any blind items today? We don't. It was a quiet weekend. Okay. That's oh, all. Oh, Thanks. I've got other things to do. That's all, folks. <laughs> Blinded all right. by the item. No, I think Bye. I've got a couple we can talk about. Let's get it started right. with this one here. This A-list actress and her actor husband have officially been blacklisted. The actress got one chance to go on television and try to spin things around. She was incredibly rude to everyone on the show, both on and uh, behind the scenes and in front of the camera. And uh, that was it. They're done. Oh, oh okay. Both of them are done. Blacklisted uh, this, A-list actor. This A-list actress and her oh, actor actress. husband have been blacklisted. The actress had one chance to go on television, try to spin things. And uh, instead of doing that, she was incredibly rude to everyone, both in front and behind the camera. And that's it for them. So she got to go on TV to items. talk about some sort of scandal or something? Um, maybe had the opportunity to and decided not to, hmm. which makes sense. Uh, and so does her husband also work in like the entertainment industry? Or he's, he, Okay. Did, is he also A minus list? I'd say he's higher on the list. Oh, higher on the and list. And she's an actress. She's an A minus list actress. Oh, he's a higher on the list actor. Yes. Mm. Oh, is this about the scandal of scandals? It's about a scandal of scandals, yeah. Okay, so oh. might have something adjacent to that particular scandal. Oh. Okay, well, I'm just going to put my cards on the table. Is it uh, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher? Yeah. Mm. Aha! Because uh, they're always, like, in proximity. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, they're always in proximity to drama, and this is no exception, but according to the blind items, they're officially done from Hollywood. We did hear a couple weeks ago they're going to try to move to Europe or something, oh, but wow. um, she... Yeah, that was that was uh, in the news uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the A minus list actress uh, Mila Kunis and her husband Ashton Kutcher have uh, apparently been blacklisted. The actress had one chance to go on television and try to spin things. She didn't do that and was rude to everyone, both in front and behind the camera. And that is it. They're done. What was that uh, TV appearance? That she... was for that new movie that she has. Okay, one with, gotcha. Um, uh, Michael Keaton. I don't remember exactly. But what she it was the named, but... implication being she didn't want to do press. Yeah, I think the because we actually talked about the promotion for that movie, and basically she wasn't going to do any of it because um, you know people would be questions. asking questions that had nothing to do with the new movie. Called Although, Good let's Rich. be clear, really, do you think like have you watched a celebrity interview for movie press? They're not asking them any no hard questions. Not I mean, yet, maybe she was worried about it, but I feel like most people want to be able to do those interviews more than once. Yeah. Meaning they're not yeah. going to ask the hard questions. But so there you go. Good luck to them. I don't know. There you go. Filling in for Don perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Good, Good luck, luck to, to her. And now him. you just need to like bust out cutie pie or something. Oh. Don like sick cutie pie. No, cutie when she doesn't pie. know a woman. Ah. Try to cutie see pie. here if uh, she's got any other upcoming projects. Uh, yeah, she's got some upcoming stuff. I mean, obviously she's still Meg Griffin too. So that's true. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. But. All righty, oh, yeah. you guys got that first one. Let's go ahead and uh, do another oh, one. Pride, pride lights. lights. Uh, did you see my pride lights go off? <laughs> I did. That usually means the ghost is in the room. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The gay ghost. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do another one here. If you feel like you've been seeing this former A-list actress a whole lot more lately, that's because you have. 
Her source of income ended months ago, and now she's making some extras by calling the paps every time she steps outside. That is only going to work for so long. A minus less actress. A f- uh, former A minus list actress. If you feel like you've been seeing this former A minus list actress a lot more lately, that's because you have been. Her main source of income ended months ago, and now she's uh, making a little extra by calling the paps every time she takes a step outside. That's only going to last for so long, though. Mm-hmm. Who have we been seeing that we haven't seen for a while? Back into the fray, Bradley. I'm trying. Former to A minus list actress. So she's not in anything currently. Correct. Okay. <sighs> Who have we been seeing? Is okay. she mostly movie? Um, no. Mostly TV? I'd say mostly TV. Mostly actress. TV. Uh, Former A minus list. Mostly TV. Was she, was she big like within the last 20 years? Um, like right on that career? number, I would say. Right on that number. So about 20 years ago would have been her big time. It's not somebody from the cast of Friends. It is not somebody from the cast of Friends. Is it someone that was more in drama roles or like comedy roles? It's a really good question. Okay. Um, a little bit of both. I'd say a little bit of both. Now, I do say when I say mostly, this individual has done a lot of movies, but more TV the biggest movies. success was one particular television show. One particular television. But I guess now that I dig into it more, I think probably more movies than TV. Oh. Although the biggest role was definitely TV, and that's maybe where she got her start. Prob- yes. TV. 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 And we've seen her showing up. With anyone or alone? Her. Usually alone, but if it is with somebody, there is one other person sometimes. A man? No. Oh. Oh. A woman? Yes. A child? No. Oh. <laughs> so it's not Katie Holmes. Yeah, it no. is. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. She's not a child anymore. She's hey, just pulled that out. I don't know. Uh, well, oh. yeah, that's true. She's not a child. She's a and, woman now. And to answer your question... That's maybe the source of income we're talking about. Let's go ahead and read the blind item for you. Uh, well, when does child support end? Oh! If you feel I, I, like okay. you've been seeing a lot more of Katie Holmes lately, that's because you have her main source of income, aka child support for uh, for uh, Surrey, has come to an end. Making uh, So she's been making some extra money by calling the paps every time she steps outside. Got that, of course, it. is only going to work for so long. We have seen her... Out and about like yes. crazy over the last few weeks. No, you're absolutely right. And it's so interesting because for one, whatever reason, I just never even thought about like the fact that her child support payments would be ending. But because I mean, think quick. about the fact that she was getting child support. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, she would be because it's Tom Cruise mm-hmm. and he has zero relationship with her. I mean, it's been about 20 years since he jumped on that couch saying, I'm in love with Katie Holmes, right? It's yeah. probably been just about. Yeah. 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 God, that was a long time ago. It was so awkward. It was. <laughs> but if you want to know whatever she's wearing uh, the next time she steps out, just stick close to it's the tabloids. It's always fashion. It is. It's always, always a fashion-related like, thing. Uh, Katie Holmes is rocking the new mom jeans. Or like Katie Holmes. Well, it's either that or Naomi Wines. Do you remember mm. Naomi Wines? No, I don't. So it's a wine company. I think like her friend. I don't know. She's either a like endorser for that company. But even like during the pandemic, she would... Uh, she did like film shoots for this wine company. All right, Katie. The things that are sitting in my brain, thanks to this job. It's You're shocking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in a very impressive way. I'm I impressed. know I'm not alone. Yeah. I'm not alone. <laughs> All right, let's do another blind item here as you're rolling through them and crushing them today. Nicely. Done. Yeah, Stormer, you're killing it. Oh, you're killing it, Bradley. Together. You're here, so. Oh, thank this, you. Counts for something. Yeah. Something. Despite the phony top 10 list. People aren't watching the documentary about this longtime A-list celeb, which is exactly why her people told her to go after the A-plus oh. list successful actor. You Despite can get the it. phony yeah. top ten lists, many people are not. Or people aren't watching the doc about this longtime A-list celeb, which is the reason why her people told her to go after the A-plus list successful actor. Would this be Martha Stewart saying Ryan Reynolds isn't funny? Yeah. There you go. Yes. Good job. One ripped directly from the headlines. If you haven't seen, let me fill in the blinds first. Despite the phony top 10 lists on Netflix, people are not watching the documentary Martha, and uh, which is the reason why her people said, go after Ryan Reynolds. That'll get some yeah. people clicking. Uh, 
I'm curious if that's true about people not watching. I feel like people, I've heard some buzz about it. I mean, you know, it's anecdotal at best. Well, but buzz from her. She doesn't like the documentary. She's on record basically saying that uh, they left out a lot of bits of information. She said that there were even a lot of archives that she gave the creators of the documentary mm-hmm. that they barely use, like archival footage, other stuff like that. So, yeah, she's herself is not thrilled with how this turned out apparently well and you could imagine where both things are true meaning that she's not a fan of it but she understands the power of saying that because that will get then people to watch because they think oh she's being bitchy about it so let's check out why it's so why why doesn't martha like it you know what i mean yeah and as somebody who has watched it in the last 24 hours, I will tell you that that yes, that plays right into the narrative. And that's 100 percent why she's saying these different things. And was it good? I learned things. OK, <laughs> OK. That I mean, it's a documentary. So, I yeah, mean, yeah. I learned things. Um, I have. Did you care about the things you learn? Yes. Like, like I had. Things? I mean, I was 15 when the whole. Oh, sure. When the when whole legal thing happened, when yeah. she went to prison. So, like, I didn't really know the backstory or the fact that eventually when it happened that's it was really just the director of the fbi basically trying to turn her into an example and it wasn't even that she had insider i assumed and took for granted that it was all insider trading related it wasn't it was that she lied to the government about the insider trading even though they determined that and they the insider to trading had out of her. exactly yeah. they wanted to make an example out of her and it it was and they called it a quote bitch hunt <laughs> well like a witch hunt, obviously, but that's what they called it because, you know, when you're successful and you're a woman, an enterprising individual, you're perceived differently than being a successful man, For an sure. enterprising individual. For sure. And I think, like, if you weren't aware, like, if, you know, you coming along when she's going to prison around that time, like, before all of that, like, you know, she was essentially, like, way up at the top in terms of success. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, just unreal to have Martha. That was yeah. a huge deal for her to... Does uh, Snoop Dogg does Snoop Dogg show up in the documentary? Oh, of course Mike? he does. Yeah, she's a huge okay. part. Yeah, yeah. All so right. the first hour is like, and I'll tell you, yeah, the first hour is like very much kind of giving you some context to how successful she was and what she was able to do at a time that nobody else was doing it, and how the fact the fact that is she is basically the first influencer. Yeah, you know, hundred oh, percent. And yeah, you so I mean, it, woman exactly. And then you go into the legal stuff, and then yes, they basically Gross. talk about how the roast of Justin Bieber essentially reinvented her in her seventies in a way that it hasn't any. Yeah, she else, sort of so. became well, she became yeah. relevant to a new generation. Exactly. So there you yeah. go. I would recommend it. It's a worth. It's worth the watch. All right. Yeah, All right. and I definitely learned things, and that's what you want in a documentary, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, let's continue the blind item. So what should we do? Let's go with this one here. Right or wrong, this podcast host slash former A-lister in his field is learning the hard way with this level of fame. Drinking with randos every weekend is probably something you're going to need to give up. Drinking with randos. Right or wrong, this podcast host slash former A-lister in his field is learning the hard way that this level of fame means drinking with randos every weekend is probably something you're going to have to give up. This isn't that group of guys that includes, like, I forget the name, a Smartless podcast with Will Arnett, Jason Bateman. Um, None of those guys? Nope, none of those guys. Good. I like those guys. Right or wrong, this podcast host slash former A-lister in his field is learning the hard way Mm -hmm. that this level of fame means you got to stop drinking with randos every weekend. Hmm. Is that... Everybody's hosting a podcast. Oh. Jason. Yeah, yeah. Jason. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe time to stop drinking with randos every single weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's read the blind item here. Right or wrong, this podcast host, of course, the host of New Heights, and then also uh, he was pretty good at what he did. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Uh, Hall of Fame football player Mm -hmm. Jason Kelsey, the brother of Travis, is learning the hard lesson that with his level of fame, whether it's because of you or who you're adjacent to, uh, drinking with randos every weekend is probably something you're going to need to give up. Yeah. And that referring to him throwing that guy's phone. Yes. Yes. That's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. So as much as it's cool for football players to like interact with their fans and everything, sign yeah. some autographs, do all that kind and of you stuff. Don't you shouldn't be with... tailgating with them every single yeah, weekend. Exactly. That's we gotta draw the line somewhere, Jace. Does he do a lot of that? Uh yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. yeah. He How played he played for he? the Eagles. He played in Philadelphia, so he's used to these fans kinda like He's what, thirty thirty nine? Yeah, just about. Um, no, 36. 36. I was a little bit younger. 
But yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, he was. He was at a college football game. Yep. Somebody said a homophobic slur to him. Yes. So, like homophobic. I said, right, right or wrong, he grabbed the guy's phone and threw yeah. it against yep. the ground. Gronk spiked yeah. it, and Gronk spiked it, and then I think went back and picked it up again and did it again. I don't know. It was. Yeah, it was a whole thing. I mean, While he was it, holding it, a case of it beer. It created a moment that then you just saw people like I saw people reacting to it online in real time, and you could just tell like, you know. Taylor fans showed up. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was a whole thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so. you know she can't be appreciating that because if there's one thing no. she's very, very good at, it's yeah. avoiding that unnecessary or unintended headlines. And yes. That is a headline yeah. that... The confrontation to a minimum, please. You imagine there was a text. Could you, um, Could you just yeah. talk to your brother? Yeah. Again, that le- level of fame is something that they're probably not used to and yeah. probably something that they've got to... Um, yeah. Well, we're talking about remember Bad Bunny. He threw that lady's yes. phone. Like, you don't know when people are going to snap. Yeah. Well, we also had that trend at concerts where people were throwing their phones on stage. Oh, God. Not well, not even just phones. Too. Remember, they were like throwing like lots of like, stuff. Like, didn't some lady throw a ham at Pink? Probably. Or no, it wasn't a ham. What was it? Some lady literally threw like yeah. a wheel of cheese. Yeah, it was something. It was like, a- what? <laughs> Chunk of brie right to the yeah. face. That's do not-, not do that. Yes. Stop throwing. Stop throwing stuff. Stop throwing stuff. That's where we're at, kids. We're not children. Please. All right, let's do another one here as we're rolling through the blind items. You guys are uh, crushing it on this Monday. No weekend rust for the two of you. (laughs) This A- slash B- list foreign-born actress has her biggest movie project to date coming up soon. She is probably best to stay as far away as possible from the A- slash A- list married co-star who won't stop hitting on her. Oh, so we have a B, an A minus slash B plus list foreign born actress. Got her biggest movie project to date uh, coming up here oh. soon. She would be best to stay as far away from her A plus slash A list married co star who won't stop hitting on her. So by project coming up soon, is this a movie that's still going to be released in twenty twenty four? Okay, is it going to be released this month? Mm. Like in a couple weeks or a week or something? A couple weeks? Not a couple weeks. No. The end of the month? Towards the end of the month? Yeah. Closer to the end of the month than a couple weeks. Is she a witch? Okay, so it's not Cynthia Rebo. Is it that movie? Hmm. It's not Wicked. So is it Gladiator 2? Glicked. Glicked. Stop trying to make Glicked a thing. Uh, for the record, Glicked is a thing. Paul McGuire Grimes, who was joining us what? the end of last week. I screwed up. I went with the Wiccanator or whatever it was. I like Wiccadiator. Yeah, Wiccadiator. Whatever it is. I was told by Paul McGuire Grimes, who's from direct from. Movies.com. Yes, and direct from Hollywood. Like he knows the industry. He and he informed me that it is Glicked. Okay. We have to get used to Glicked the rest of this month. Just because it is doesn't mean you have to get used to it. But. I do think it rolls off the tongue quite well. Sure. Yeah. Glicked. Glicked. So it's just the combo say. platter like Barbenheimer. Exactly. For Barbie and Oppenheimer. Precisely. Mm-hmm. Gladiator. See, now I'm like, I don't know what that means, actually. What is it? <laughs> Gladiator and Wicked. So, so the film. So let me read in the blind. Yeah, let me fill in the blind yeah. items. This A minus oh, yeah, B plus list. You still have an answer. You need part of the blind item. This A minus slash B plus list foreign born actress has her biggest movie project uh, to date being released soon. That is Gladiator Two. She would be best to stay as far away from her A plus slash A list married co star who won't stop hitting on her. I, I don't remember who the woman is. The woman who, in Gladiator. Who else is, I don't remember who who else is cast. Yeah, um, that's going to be hard. But so, the, so is, is the, the guy. Creeper. Yes, let the me, guy is it. Let me just say, this is Gladiator Two. Yep, it's the same woman who was cast in Gladiator One. Oh, I don't remember. I don't either. I wasn't paying attention to the lady in the first Oscar-winning movies. I haven't seen the first Gladiator yet. I'm sorry. Kate Winslet. What? I know. I'm sorry, you haven't Mike. seen the first? No, I oh. haven't. But I'm what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch it yes. right before the second one comes out, and I'm gonna, like going to watch both on the same day. Oh. It's going to be epic. That hurts my soul. Kate Blanchett. No, it's okay. Nope. You're never going to get her. Why don't we focus okay. on the guy then? If Because you're not going to get uh, her if you guys haven't seen Paul it. Mescal. Nope. Denzel. Married. Yes. Ooh. Denzel. Well. What? Uh, the uh, woman you're trying to come up with is Connie Nelson. Connie. Connie. Yeah, Nielsen, Nelson. Yeah, Nelson. Okay, think, right. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Sure. She is the. Uh, the she has got uh, Gladiator two coming up. She of course was very well known for being in Gladiator one and then a bunch of other amazing 
stuff. She's a fantastic actress. Uh, she has apparently nonstop been hit on by Denzel Washington, her married A plus slash A list co star. It'd probably be wise for her to um, not give in to his advances. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because for a number of reasons. Well, yeah. I don't know if he's feeling too, you know, big for his britches Mike because he's in that role. Hinting or, at know. something. Well, I let's just say this blind item put me down a rabbit hole. Oh, that led me to Denzel Washington's second family. What? Do some research on your own time. Okay. Oh, all right. I don't know if I want to. I feel like the comments are going to be on fire on this one. <laughs> They're going to be on fire because apparently if you've been living in the blind item world, I didn't live in the blind item Denzel world before this blind item. We should item. just remind people, Jeez. we are not experts. We are not. The, yes, let me We fill. merely play in the world of blind items. What I do is I take a deep dive into the worst parts of the internet. and <laughs> We don't uh, have to. So you guys don't have to. Pull up blind items. I'm not saying these are all true. I'm not saying I believe these. I didn't write these. I'm just telling you these are the blind are that are being discussed in the World Wide Web. You're doing the Lord's work, yeah. Mike. So Mike actually does. To. Mike actually <laughs> does the Lord's work by preventing us from going down those rabbit holes ourselves. Bless you, Mike. Um, Thank you, sir. But you can go down that friends. one if you want. It's a fun eh, trip. Nope. Uh, I got a root canal scheduled for later. I'm busy. <laughs> Sorry. Let's do some more blind items here. You guys got that one. Um, looking forward to Gladiator 2 and Glick It. I might do them both Glick on the it. same day. I just Attaboy. can't think, not think of Jiminy Glick every time you say Glick It. <laughs> that's why I like I just Glick see It. Martin Short. We can bring Martin Short in to, pr- to promote it. I think that's the great thing to do. <laughs> How do you Maybe feel? Maybe Meryl Streep can come with. Ooh, Ooh okay. Now I'm making now the world back. of blind items. Let's see. Uh, let's move on and do this one. People are really surprised that this A-list actor slash sometimes director has good things to say about about an X and their upcoming performance. Hmm. Are they forgetting whose bottom line is affected most by the success of said project? She's already been paid. He only gets paid if we watch. Are people really surprised this A-list actor slash sometimes director are saying is saying good things about an X and her performance? Are they forgetting whose bottom line is affected most by the success of the project? She's already been paid. He'll only pay get paid if we watch. Is this Ben and Jen? Yes. It Look is. at you, Stormer. Of course. We've got, uh, yeah, not hard to figure that one out, but I'm very proud of you for doing it. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, are people really surprised that Ben Affleck has been saying some great things about just uh, about Jennifer Lopez's upcoming uh, performance in a movie that he's the producer of? Yeah. Awkward. Really? Like, obviously. Yeah. yeah. He's not going to talk badly he's about it. He's not going to be like, he was crap. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not going to go see that movie. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, so, and, and I also it's just a love movie it. about wrestling, right? Isn't she like J Lo's like the mom of a yep. kid who goes into wrestling and stuff? And, yes, okay. Unstoppable yes, is the name of the is. film. Born with one leg, Anthony Robles has uh, defied expectations to become a champion wrestler in college again, despite having uh, just one leg. Uh, and this is she's produced by Ben and Matt, right? Yes, it's that. Um, what are they called? First. Uh, their production company. Their production company is like the one. one that, by the way, they started while he was married to her without a prenup. So technically, she also owns part of that. We just don't know to what extent yet because they haven't told us anything about how they're going to break up their finances. Artist <laughs> Equity me. is what it is called. All right, Matt and Ben's production company. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's going to be a little. It's gonna be. I, they still haven't said anything. By they the way, they have not officially, officially publicly said that they are unofficially about yet. the end of it. Well, she's like danced around it in interviews, yeah. but has never actually come out and said, "Yes, Ben and I are getting divorced." But they also haven't come out and said we're not getting divorced either. So clearly, True. well, no, I'm. I, I would imagine they are. Yeah, they, 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 they seem to be. Yeah, that's what. But, that's what I'm saying. Like they haven't come out and squashed any other rumors oh, or yeah, anything. Yeah. Everything's yep. just been. Sailing along in terms of Ben and Jen. <laughs> and she's a very good dancer to dance around all those right? stories. She does a very good job of it. Yes, she does. Wow, you're so poetic today, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Mondays really have an effect on you. I'm trying to be poetic because I don't think we have time to get to any of these other what? ones. So let's talk about what we learned today okay, on Blinded Stormer, by the Idol. you go first because this 
was a tour de force. Well, this was quick. I, I didn't get as many as I did the first time I hopped on Blinded by the yeah, Item, but, but that's okay. You knew them. Yeah, we had some quick responses, the Ben and Jen stuff, the, yeah. uh, the Ryan Reynolds and Martha Stewart stuff. So I'm proud with my performance today. I'm very well, proud of listeners you. listeners are as well. Yeah. Mike said he was proud of me too. I Although did. I know I lost a couple of points in Mike's book, though, for not seeing Gladiator. Quite no, yeah, it appears he that he did judge yeah, you. he doesn't think of me quite the same yeah. now. Well, you, the good news is you can make that up by watching Gladiator. I will. I will. I promise, Which Mike. I, I will say, though, I have not watched in probably, oh, since it was in theaters. So how many years ago was that? It came 20? out in 2004, right? Yeah. I believe. So. Gladiator? Uh, yeah, that Very would have been, one. yeah, somewhere in there. I'm excited. 2000 even. Oh, oh yeah. right at 2000. Oh, wow, 24 years ago. Wow. So you'd, yes. you'd be forgiven um, for not remembering. Take your time and to go watch that. And, and Mike, we haven't gotten any early reactions yet to Gladiator 2 like we have with Wicked yet, have we? I, I believe the embargo is still in place for what the critics can talk about with Gladiator 2 up to this point. Yeah, I believe so. The only thing we got is the projections, which I sure. think that's going to be a very good weekend. They're yeah. going to be like, you know, in that... I mean, they, they always lowball it. it. Yeah, because I, uh, I think Wicked will be... Flirting with triple digits, for so sure. Wicked oh, for should sure. be. I mean, the projection was eighty-five million, but it should be doing close to a hundred, and then that would mean Gladiator probably in that seventy-ish range. And if that's the case, that's a heck of a weekend at the box office. Wicked, November twenty-second, by the way. Stormer, thank you so much for filling in as uh, always. Thanks for having me. All your today. second time, but thank you, thank you for joining the fun. And Michael, thank you for that delicious crop of juicy bits of gossip with the names left out. Listeners, you can listen to us on my talk, subscribe wherever you get podcasts, or head to our YouTube page. It's called Blinded by the Idol. Bye. Blinded by the Item. 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 Item.